college that VMS would be a snap. Uh, that was not so. Uh, there's, there are so many differences between Open VMS and Linux and also Windows uh, for that matter. Um, one of the biggest differences uh, between Open VMS and Linux is the file system. Uh, Open VMS uses a file system called Files 11. It's the base of the Open VMS OS. Uh, there are two widely used variants, uh, ODS2 and ODS5. Uh, if at all possible, ODS5 should be used. Um, one of the reasons for that is, uh, a good reason, is if you're planning to use Oracle on your system, Oracle 10G, uh, it's going to require that you use ODS5. Uh, one of the good things about ODS5 is it ha allows you to have flexible naming convention. Uh, one of the things is like uh, you, have, you can have longer character strings in your file names. Um, also, uh, like another great thing about Files 11 is it allows you to have file versioning. So let's say I create a file, I come back the next day and I make changes to it, the new file is going to become version 2. So you're going to have the file name colon 2. The new file is going to be called file name colon 1, uh, semicolon. So that's one good thing about the file system. Um, and if you if you continue to do that, of course you're going to get lots of files in your directory. Uh, but that's okay. There's a command they have called purge uh, that, that OpenVMS provides. And that command, you run it, and it'll get rid of, like let's say if you just want to have the five most recent versions of your file, it'll you can have it do that. Or let's say you want to get rid of all of the older files from last December because you don't need them any longer, then you can do that too. So uh, it provides a lot of flexibility.